Now if you have a query where you have two or more number formatted fields you want to calculate, for example I've got my pay rates query, let me double click and open it up. I've got my employees, their weekly hour and hourly rate, and I want to be able to calculate their weekly pay by multiplying their weekly hours by their hourly rate. So to do that, to calculate, let's go to the design view of the query, find the first blank field over to the right here, and I can create it one of a couple of ways. I can either right click on it and build it. When I build it, it opens up a window and it gives us the sample fields and the operators that we can use to multiply the two fields. I mean, for me, I can type it in a lot faster than doing it this way, but I'll show you both. So for example, we've got over in the left field the expression elements from our query, so we want to make sure that we select the pay rates query because that's what we're in. So we can see the fields that are available, and it's the weekly hours and hourly rate that I want to multiply. So I double click to add the weekly hours, okay? Then I go to the operators because there I find my asterisks. I can double click to add it. Now you can type it in. You don't have to come down here and select the expression value and double click to add it. You know, I can backspace and then type it in. Fine. Hit the space bar. Then come back to my pay rates query and then double click hourly rate. And then when I'm finished, that's it. Multiply those two fields. Click OK. Hit the tab key. I'm done. But after I do that, you notice that access came in and updated it. Let me go ahead and right click to zoom in. So it's multiplying these two fields together, but it added a colon and to the left of the colon, expression 1, which is the name of that field. It's going to be the column label, which I don't like and we'll change in just a minute. So that's one way. Let me click cancel. Another way to enter it in is just to simply type it. To me, it's a lot faster in that. Let me go ahead and hover over the top gray bar there till my pointer turns into a black arrow. So when I click on it, it selects the columns. So when I delete it, it deletes all the contents of that column. Like I said, you can just simply type it in. So when I type in, I'm just going to type in the name of these fields, of course, with the asterisks in between. So I'll go weekly hours. Now notice how I typed it just like I saw it over here. No spaces. Well, I didn't type it exactly because I have a lowercase w as opposed to an uppercase. When it comes to calculations, it's not case sensitive but just make sure that we don't add any spaces. I find that uh, some of my students have problems with that. They go, oh, weekly hours, let me go ahead and add a space. It's like, no, just type it like you see it over here. If it has no space, don't add it. Hit the space bar, asterisk the operator that multiplies the uh, next field, hourly rate. Hit the tab key and wow, look what happened. It added the square brackets and also the expression one. Let me right click and zoom in. So it's just like going to that build window but for me, it's so much easier to and so much quicker to uh, type it in, especially if it's going to add everything for me, the brackets around it, the asterisks. Now, it only does this in the query, but if you go to other areas of access and you try to uh, do some calculations and you don't add the square brackets, access is going to have a fit. So at least for the query here, I'm fine. Let me go ahead and click OK, and then go ahead and click on the Run button and see what it looks like. All right. We've got the expression one, again, the column label, which I don't like, will change in just a second. And then it's got the numbers. It's supposed to be multiplying these two fields. I don't know about you, but 40 times 75, find something a little bit easier to calculate in my head. Ooh, there we go. 40 times 1 equals 40. <laughs> Great, it works. Now I want to go back and uh, change the format to currencies, so you have the dollar sign there, and then, of course, the uh, column label. So back to design view. Let's go ahead and right-click and zoom in. And then anything that falls to the left of that colon, make sure you don't delete the colon because that separates the name of the column from the actual calculation. So if I delete that, then I go ahead and type in weekly gross. So to the left of it, that's the name of the column. To the right of the colon is going to be the, the calculation is going to be performed. Click OK. Now also we want the results of this to be in currency. So we'll right click on that field and go down and bring up its properties, the property sheet. So for that field, you want to change the format from general to something, well, currency, okay? Close out, be sure to save your work. Go ahead and click on the view button, and there we go. We've got weekly gross, well, if you can't see it, hover over to the right-hand side until you see your black arrows pointing in opposite directions. Double-click really fast, and it does a best fit. So we can see weekly gross, the column label, and then also it's got the format currency. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.